We're going to look at the dynamic machine control here today on a typical mold tool part, a bumper fascia, and how we can use it to position the machine tool in a, in a safe area so that it doesn't collide with the part. In this case, we've got a three axis program machining on the part here on the outside faces, and it shows we have a collision. So if we look at the, the issues, obviously we can see there's a problem here. So we can use our dynamic machine control to go through and adjust these options. We have the convenient drag handles here where we can just rotate the part, the machine out of the way. We see now that we don't have a collision, we can update the tool axis itself. And this is updating the toolpath without recalculating the toolpath. Now when we simulate this one here, we can see that there's no issues. Next, we look at a 3 plus 2 toolpath. We simulate this one from the beginning of the program. We'll see that we've got an issue here with the machine colliding against the knuckle. So again, we'll open up our dynamic machine control. And we can just rotate this one out of the way. Once we see that it's in a safe position, update the toolpath and accept the changes. This is a quick and easy fix. It doesn't make you regenerate the toolpath. You're just simply applying a new tool axis to the toolpath itself. And it finishes error free. And the last one here is a second solution option. Well, these big bulky heads seem to get in the way quite a bit. The knuckle could be positioned on the left or right side in this case. So if we simulate this one, you'll see that the head collides and it's a problem. Instead of using the drag handles in this case, if we just use the uh, swap configuration button, it just simply positions the knuckle 180 degrees out from where it was previously. Again, update the toolpath. Now we've got a toolpath that runs error free and we're safe to run against our machine and the CAD model. Again, just a way to use the dynamic machine control to produce collision-free, safe toolpaths for our machines.